Hello everybody, it's Chibi, and as you can see, this video is completely different from my normal setting with my reviews and stuff. I wanted to discuss about the live stream that just finished, and you know, I want to read through some of these comments that we never got to, and just certain highlights of some comments that just made me downright just laugh my ass off. So, anyways, let me know your thoughts on this uh, actual live stream we did tonight. I mean, I had so much fun, and it was so much fun getting to interact with you. Yes, sadly enough, we didn't get to answer every single comment and question. I am very sorry about that, personally for myself. Everybody else at Annie Divided also is sorry. We were all just doing our true personalities, having fun, you know, on live stream. So sorry if we went a little bit off topic, especially in the middle with the, um, <clears throat> hint time. But besides that... Let's get into reading these comments. So, pretty much, I want to try to make this almost unedited as possible because I want you guys to see my, like, live reactions to what I felt about these, uh, comments. I want to read some because I didn't get to read them all. So, anyways, let's get started, shall we? So, if I don't look at the camera, you know why. Okay. Kill me with a shotgun said, bye, guys. This was fun. Hmm. It, oh, yes. Francis Chuck. Roxas, don't throw the bitch card, please. <laughs> Love it, Francis. You have definitely been a funny person all night tonight that has made me absolutely just laugh. Hestus, once again, you were great too. Roxas, before you go, you guys end the video, eat some chips for us. Roxas is pretty much nothing but the guy that we should expect from eating chips to freaking just talking about us being pedos and all sorts of stuff. We found some very interesting things about each other tonight that was really freaking funny. I laughed so hard tonight. I mean, this is better than a gag manga or anime. I, th these comments, man, I mean, this is something I enjoy. Out of everything with YouTube or whatever, I enjoy talking with all of you and getting to see what you feel about stuff, because that, that makes me smile and happy. So, anyways, let's continue onward. Okay, let's see here. Chibi is a dark pedophile. Lovo Nick one said this about me. I'm not a dark pedophile! What?! I'm a lollycon, not a freaking pedophile. Remember that. They're two different things. Lollycon isn't, you know, me loving lollies that are in anime. Pedophile, that, no. Just no. Okay, going on, Hesta says, Yay, I suggested that suggestion. But did you guys not do that before with other podcasts? The videos were around 30 minutes. If you need 45 minutes or something, then that sounds fine to me. Hestus, let me answer your question, actually, about the live stream. Us at Any Divided were actually planning on doing our entire weekly anime discussion in this live stream, like Kill a Kill, all sorts of major things that happen this week, like Hunter x Hunter, Y'all Mushy Paddle, just all sorts of different anime that air weekly, like how I normally do my anime reviews. We were all going to discuss what we felt about this week of anime and just do our entire highlights of the week of anime. So that's what we were really trying to focus towards, but at the same time, we were going to be answering questions. We kind of devolved into something that made me actually kind of scarred but at the same time i guess a lot of you really enjoyed it for all the comments you posted i mean a lot of you stuck with us into from the very beginning to the very end and i really enjoy all that it really means so much to us at any divided i love that so much and pretty much to go into the point of it next week next saturday we're going to be having an actual live stream podcast also so, don't worry about it. There will be more frequent live stream podcast, and we're going to try actually talking about our weekly anime for the first 30 minutes of the live stream. See how it works out. See how everybody likes it in the actual live stream, and if you guys like it, we'll do more of that. But uh, I just want to let you know all that. Now, this live stream was uh, exceptionally long. We usually don't do this much length of live stream. I mean, when we used to do, you know, podcasts on any divide, when we were just editing, when we had that screenshot, you know, our other uh, videos... We would sit around, oh my god, for like two hours talking to each other just about random crap. Like you, like you saw here. That, that is the exact essence of where I get my behind-the-scenes footage at on my channel. That is exactly where I get it from, just from the crap we talk about. So, I'm sorry if this live stream offended anyone in any way. Honestly, this is all just a bunch of random people's opinions. But we all had fun, and we didn't personally go out of our way to try to offend any of you if you were offended. Now... Keep scrolling down, Zoro Fanboy 124 I'm actually incredibly shocked this person of all people managed to come to our live stream or find our live stream. He's actually a major, I guess, anime reviewer. He reviews anime like crazy. So getting to see someone like this that's well known in the anime community, reviewer community of like One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach, I'm absolutely shocked that he would participate in our live stream and actually want to talk to us. So really, I'm thankful for Zoro Fanboy for participating. Kill me with a shotgun. Strike the blood sucks. No offense to anyone who likes it. It's not my cup of tea. Honestly, I dropped Strike the Blood also because I just, no, I, I didn't like it. It just was too cliche for me and had too many useless cliffhangers that didn't lead to anything. That's my opinion on it. That's why I kind of dropped my reviews on Strike the Blood. But if you all liked it, I'm sorry about that. I just, I didn't see no enjoyment out of it. 
Uh, continue to go down. Let's see here, uh, Messe said the latest episode of Strike the Blood got me thinking. Is she really dead? I didn't put her name out there, so I don't spoil over those that didn't watch it. I, I don't know what he's talking about. I'm sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about, because, like I said, I dropped the show at episode 6, if I remember correctly. Um, Francis said Nisi Koi is love Hannah all over again. Nah, nah I can kind of see the similarities. I really do, honestly. It's very interesting. Nisekoi is a good anime, but not the very best. Sadly enough, we didn't get to talk about Nisekoi a lot in this live stream. Usually, you know, we know how Sai is. He's like, Nisekoi shit! <laughs> you know, how he usually does. So, upsetting, really. We didn't get the standard Sai. Uh, Golden Pincers, you have been amazing tonight. Also, you have definitely, you know, commented quite frequently. I mean, since the very beginning of the live stream. And I'm thankful for all the dedicated people that actually watched the live stream from start to finish. Even if you jumped in an hour late like Drake Snow did... I feel like it still meant a lot to me and all of us at Any Divided that you're willing to stick around and just listen to our opinions, even if we did <clears throat> go off topic from our standard anime discussion. Um, Scarlet Mekon, your, your, your comments, man. Your questions were pretty awesome. I liked it. And who was the one that asked for the Yaoi comment again? Wait a minute. That was Hestus. Hestus! Why the hell did you ask me that type of question? Why? Why? Why, man? I know, I love you, man, but no, no. That's disturbing, really. You derailed, I think that was the start of the entire derailment of our actual live stream when you posted that comment. Uh, let's see, Golden Pincers, I think we got to the opinions of the week's episodes right at the end, so if you want to see those, they're at the end of the live stream. Uh, Drake Snow says, we don't need to hear about your marriage fantasies. I don't have marriage fantasies. I just want to marry my waifu, Holo, okay? That's it. Uh, the Pokemon Master. Man, this is the best thing. And yes, people over to us, as, people think of us as nerds. Honestly, in the entire factor, when we were talking about, you know, otakus and nerds, what Japan thinks about otakus and stuff, and what we actually, uh, like, I guess, consider as a nerd or an otaku in America, I'm a proud nerd or otaku. I really am. I love what I love to watch. I mean, there, I feel no shame. I mean... I show you my freaking anime figures for peace sake. If I had shame, I wouldn't do this. I I feel like it would me be lying to I'd be lying to you, okay? Pretty much, if I didn't show my true personality personality out. See, I'm making a lot of mess ups here. Sorry about that. Um, pretty much, I, I want to reveal my entire personality to all of you. That's my entire goal. I mean, I don't want to be some fake anime reviewer. You know, someone on the screen you're watching. I want to be as realistic as I possibly can how I truly feel. And I felt like this would add to more, I guess, honest conversations with all of us. So that's truly what my goal is also in the sidelines. So just letting you know all that. And honestly, I, I feel no shame of having my body pillows. And all of you calling me a dark pedo, that makes me upset. Uh, continuing to go down, down, down. Oh, God, don't please sing that song, TV. JC, I completely agree with Rox whatever he said. <laughs> JC, man, you were mean tonight also. Your lols and XDs and just the way you commented on the entire Yowie section was just messed up. Jason Yang, I haven't, I, I, once again, I don't know if it was overshadowed in the live stream, but Jason Yang actually writes a manga series. He draws it personally. He doesn't have the best artwork, like I said, but he does have a good story in the works, and I recommend go check it out. Once again, he, it's a very interesting story. It'll have a lot more work to do, but in my honest opinion of it, it it's... Definitely something that's interesting to read. Definitely for a fanfic, I guess, manga-type style. Uh, looks like we got someone. Gold Pincers, Yuji and Shauna all the way. <laughs> Fuck yeah. There you go. Right there, that's how you do it. Uh, let's see. The Pokemon ma Master said, I'm a maniac. I knew it. Well, yeah, oh yeah, that maniac section was on the entire otaku deal. Otakus are maniacs. That may actually explain a little bit about myself. Uh... Let's see, what do we see we have? Oh yes, Lobo Nick, we completely ignored your question, I think, the entire freaking live stream, and I'm going to apologize for that. I am very sorry, just never got around to actually talking about it. You pretty much said that, what do you think of NHK? Welcome to the NHK. I really fucking love that series. It's a really good series that stood out among all sorts of different anime I've ever seen. It really tells you the true life of Hikamori status and neat status. And I felt like the series was a masterpiece. I really loved NHK. It was a series that deserves a lot more publicity than it does. It has light novels and a manga series. I was actually thinking of picking up the manga series very soon. Just because of how much respect I have for the anime. It was a good watch. Definitely good ending. And I felt like it had the right feels and realistic drama that really compelled a lot of its watchers. That's what I feel about NHK. I don't know about anyone else in the Annie Divided that's watched it. So I really have no clue on that. Um... 
pretty much this is just a short handful honestly i mean you wanted me to tell you how many comments we have in this video right now you really want to know we have over 300 comments that's not including us at any divided that commented and replied back so what i'm getting at is i'd be here for quite a while reading all these comments to try to answer every single thing this is just a few little highlights i just want to talk about so sorry about that if i didn't get to all the questions but everybody that participated and not commented just did anything, just enjoyed the show, I want to say thank you all, and everybody, I love you so much, thank you for tuning in to this live stream, once again, I want to put it out there, I plan on doing a live stream on my channel too, so I'm just making sure I keep you up to date on that, everybody, I love you, and please everybody, be safe, Chibi out.